time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Thank you, Jake. Well, Darren, you've played an important part in helping the team get to where you guys are right now, second leg of the Western Conference semifinals this weekend. Whether it was PKs you drew this year, the game-winning goal against Vancouver, all really big moments for this team. And you've looked so happy doing it. Where has this season ranked for you in just enjoying the game? Playing. You know, I've been playing of recently and that's good for me, you know, like when you get a chance to play, especially consistently, then over a period of time, like you're going to show what you, you can do. And uh, for me, I've been playing and I'm, I'm having fun again. And it shows if I'm, as I said, if I'm scoring a goal or drawing a PK or creating an assist, whatever it needs for the team to win, get a job done, you know. So I was really excited, like when we won first place in the West with Cascadia, especially against Vancouver. You're right. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, we, like, our target is going all the way, you know, and Houston is just a step this Sunday. And I know you told me what your inspiration for that first goal in April that you scored against Vancouver. What was the inspiration for uh, the game winner on decision day? To be the best in the West, you know. No, your goal celebration. Oh, my goal celebration. What oh, was oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was like, you know, like, I made friend, friend like my friends back home. Yeah. Like I always tell them, like you know, whenever you need me, you call me. You know, cause I always stepped up in the big moment. You know, <laughs> so I, like you know who to call when the big moments comes up. So it's like call me. You know, but yeah, that's me. I mean, I enjoy the big moments. You know, like I never get nervous. Like I was like I was remembering growing up when I was younger. Like I used to get so nervous in big, big, big moments. You know, and now. It's a total opposite. It's like I enjoy playing in the big moments because I doesn't get nervous. And for me, that's massive, you know, because you can do what you want to do without being under any pressure, even though you know the occasion of the game. So that's good for me. How, when did that happen? I, I'm always nervous before the games, and uh, I'm not the one playing. I don't know. I think it was like three years ago, you know, when um, I used to be really down on myself if I miss a goal or something, you know, I'm really down. And I told myself, like, you can only control what you can control, you know. It's For me, God is in control of everything, but you just got to do what you do best and everything else will take care of itself. So I think from that then, um, when whenever I play, if I'm playing in a Gold Cup final, if I'm playing in MLS Cup final, hopefully it's this year, you know, like, I just doesn't get nervous, you know, and that's good. That's huge. Well, Darren, to most people, you're a pretty quiet, reserved guy when it comes to media or, fit, you know, not one of the loud, outgoing ones. Mm -hmm. But I get to talk to you every week at training, watching you, and I can tell that you're very comfortable here. And mm -hmm. when I think to your career, whether it was at Akron or when you're with the Jamaican national team, that's when you're, you've been at your best because you seem to be supported and in a very, you know, nourishing environment. And it kind of seems like that's finally where you are here with Portland. Do yeah, you feel that way? 100%. You know, when you're in an environment where um, people respect and, like, they know what you're capable of doing and you've given a chance to do so, then it's going to show on the field, you know. And as you said, like, if I'm, when I was with Caleb in Akron or when I'm playing with Jamaica, you know, I feel like even though the, the, the demand is always high to produce, you know, but at the same time, you're in an environment where um, the expectations are always going to be there, but you're at the same time, you're comfortable, you know. And then for me, I like to be in an environment where I'm relaxed, I'm free-minded, but at the same time, you know, it's not complacency, you know, and I finally feel that way here. And hopefully this continues and we go all the way. Well, it's certainly showing on the yes. field, that freedom that you were talking mm -hmm. about. Yes, that freedom, it's, it's where, when I get that freedom, that's where I get to be most expressive on, on the football field. And when I can find myself being the most expressive out there, that's when I think I'm going to be at my best. Well, we're loving that. So I know you've met, you touched on it that you would mean the world to you to win a championship here with Portland. And I, I read something I think you said after in post game of a recent game that, you know, you you're writing your script here. This is your chapter. You know, a lot of the guys have were here in twenty fifteen, have already won the cup, that you want to play a part in this one. Yes. Twenty seventeen. Yes, because um over the years wherever I play I usually um win. Okay. You know? <laughs> so I mean, as I said, it, it, if it was back in Jamaica or I went to Akron or, you know, um, wherever, like, I always trying to be a winner, you know. And for me, as you get older, you know, like, winning, like, 
it's it's gonna mean something for me to win, you know. And I've, like usually, like this time of year, I would I would be usually packing up my stuff to go back to Jamaica for holidays, you know. And like this time, that's not the case, you know. What I mean, like I have no intention to go back to Jamaica anytime soon, you know. Like I want to go back to Jamaica with a winner's medal, you know what I mean? Like like that's my sole aim and purpose right now, you know, is to be a winner because people are gonna remember championships. Well, you can call your friend, tell your friends yes. back in Jamaica. You're I, not going to be back until Christmas, okay? Like they're like they're going to see me on the TV, you know. Hopefully, hosting the trophy, you know. So like, I don't even need to call them. They're going to see it for themselves. Love know? it. Well, we're we're not letting you go until <laughs> the end of December. So everyone in Jamaica, wait. We're going to be in that championship <laughs> game. Thank you so much for coming on Timbers and Thirty this week. Good luck on Sunday against Houston. Thank you.